Dear European partners, my dearest leaders, uh, it's uh, very important for me to be invited to address you um, over this uh, meeting, which will launch Friends of Europe brand new Ukraine initiative. And I think it will really help us to counter this fatigue narrative, which has been partially spread by Russian propaganda, but also uh, is inevitable throughout this long lasting war. First of all, thank you for your steadfast support for our country. Thank you for your strong belief in the free, democratic and prosperous future of Ukraine. It's a words which have been repeated for a million and million of times. But you are those who know that the value of them cannot be undermined. This cannot be seen as something usual. This is what we're still fighting for. And until the war is over and until Ukraine prevails and Russia, Russia is held accountable, this war should be repeated a million and million times. And the feeling should really be attached to every soul who can do something to help us to survive. This is vital for us because it shapes our future. It's important to know whether we will be able to survive another day, another month, another year, if will be needed. Today, at the beginning of the third year of the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, such an initiative is important. We all understand that Russia will not stop in Kyiv or Lviv. If not defeated in Ukraine, Russia will move further. Today, the war is near the border of NATO. Without Ukraine standing strong to the aggressor, it will be at its border. After going through such a terrifying experience, we definitely wouldn't wish it to anyone else. Russia's evil is a large scale. Undermining the very fundamentals of the whole EU and NATO have stood on for decades. International world order, dignity and respect for human rights, on which European democracy and prosperity are built, may be suddenly destroyed by chaos and dramatic suffering of war. 24 hours, not more, not less. This is one of the scenarios of the European future. And this way, it may happen if Ukraine will fail. History should yell loudly here for all of us not to repeat these mistakes. This scenario may be definitely avoided under one condition. If we all together treat risks and threats adequately and maturely, not limiting it with the, uh, to the political cycle or individual interest, serving to the people and the nations of the countries of a democratic world is much more about building a successful, is much more than just building a successful political careers. And all of us together collectively should remind all the nations around the globe about that. We know perfectly well the goals of the Russian aggression. The more the war in Ukraine is lasting, the more time Russia gets to get learned, to learn on its mistakes, to strengthen its military capacity and to build new coalitions with China, North Korea, Iran. Another year of war would only strengthen these alliances, would only back up the narrative of the Russian Federation of the new era of the global security. We all should make sure that if there's anything we can do, it's done. I'm very optimistic about the very distinguished and honored gathering you have here today. I'm really looking forward to continue this discussion in Kiev over your visit. And I'm really happy to get further engaged with you on every step of the way. And there are so many things we can do. We are joining the European Union, reforming the country. We are fighting the war. We are shaping the new world global order based on the European dream we have in our hearts and in our daily agenda. Let's do it together.
We are also preparing for the NATO Washington summit. And every year, whenever we are about to discuss the expectations from this, since 2008, we test the resolve of a global partners. Now that we know that European Union is standing strong and the, the words that it will stand with Ukraine as long as it takes has not been just a words. It has a backup through geopolitical, financial and political and security support. We need to make sure that the whole world standing with Ukraine says it loudly and clearly and back it up with the real decisions. Let's make it together. I rely on you very much. Thank you so much and Slava Ukraini.